Explaining Hormones, the channel where we unlock the science behind your cravings, moods, and metabolism. On The Biggest Loser, contestants lost incredible amounts of weight in just months. But when the cameras stopped rolling, most of them regained it. Their metabolism had slowed dramatically. But here's the real question. Can you reboot your metabolism after extreme dieting? Rapid weight loss sends an emergency signal to the body, we're starving, conserve energy. Your resting calorie burn drops, sometimes by hundreds of calories a day. Hunger hormones like ghrelin shoot up, while fullness hormones like leptin plummet. That's why contestants weren't just burning fewer calories, they were hungrier than ever. But metabolism isn't permanently broken. It adapts, slowly, but it adapts. Here's what could help contestants and anyone recovering from extreme dieting reboot their metabolism. Lifting weights or bodyweight training rebuilds muscle. And more muscle means a higher resting metabolism. Eating protein protects that muscle and keeps you fuller for longer. Aim for protein at every meal. Poor sleep and high stress raise cortisol, which makes it harder to regulate hunger and burn fat. Recovery matters as much as workouts. Instead of crash dieting, slowly adjusting calories helps your body adapt without slamming the brakes on metabolism. The reboot isn't overnight, but over weeks and months, the body learns to trust again and metabolic health improves. The truth? Metabolism isn't broken forever, it's resilient. With strength, recovery, protein, and patience, even contestants from The Biggest Loser could have rebuilt theirs, and so can you. If you want more science-based strategies to work with your hormones, hit subscribe.